This is biodiversity. Biodiversity is life on Earth, plants and animals. When the plants come together, they form habitats, like this. When the habitats come together, they form ecosystems. Biodiversity is vital for us. It feeds us. It provides us with building materials. And would you believe that if you're in a hospital bed and you can see biodiversity out of the window instead of concrete, you're likely to recover quicker. But biodiversity is under threat from a number of factors. Agriculture is one, built development. But what if we could find a way of growing our food, of doing agriculture in a way that improved biodiversity and helped it? That's what I want to tell you about next. This field has just been ploughed literally in the last hour and it's a great example of modern agriculture. It's beautifully clean, there isn't a weed to be seen, it's beautifully straight and it's just what the farmer wants to grow our food using biodiversity. But one of the problems with this kind of agriculture is that it costs an enormous amount of input to create a field that's clean like this and it also costs an enormous amount in terms of output. If you put pesticides to stop weeds growing into the system, they have to go somewhere afterwards. They go into the water bodies, the water courses, and they damage the biodiversity. In fact, they have many environmental issues around them. Our scientists thought hard about how we could fix this and make agriculture less environmentally damaging and more environmentally sensitive and biodiversity friendly, nature inclusive, in fact. Agriculture is great. Farming feeds us. The problem we have with it is the inputs and outputs. If we can reduce those, we can reduce environmental impacts and we can actually make farming cost less for the farmer, which is good on both counts. In order to find a way to do things differently, we've come up with an idea called circular agriculture. And what's interesting about circular agriculture for me is how can it benefit biodiversity more than what we do now. And one of the ways that it can benefit biodiversity is through the way that we manage the edges of the fields. What you can see here is a very wide grassy strip and a treed edge to the grassy strip. Now, there's a lot you can do with this. You could plant wildflowers that increase the number of pollinators. And if you've got a crop that needs pollinators, you're immediately benefiting the crop. You get natural pest control agents, animals that eat pests like aphids, and they come into the field from the edge and create pest control without having to use insecticides. It reduces costs and it reduces those damaging outputs. Also, if you can plant these things uh, with trees and shrubs, you can increase their structural diversity and you get more birds, partridges, other species that are vital for our landscapes. And there's also dairy. Cows feed on grass and pasture is one of the major ways that we produce food in Northern Europe. Dairy has massive inputs and outputs, probably more in the modern era than cereal farming. The great thing about circular is that it can be applied equally to arable farming and dairy farming. And in dairy, it offers the potential for significant and great gains for the environment and for biodiversity. There are three things I really like about circular agriculture. The first one is that it has great potential to benefit biodiversity if we do it right. The second one is that it mimics biodiversity. The thing about ecosystems is that they're hugely efficient in the way they use resources. They cycle them. And that's what circular agriculture does. It reduces the inputs, reduces the outputs, and is more circular in that sense, and therefore less environmentally damaging. The third thing is, and this is really important, is that it can keep the farmer in business because it offers the possibility for reasonable levels of productivity and reasonable levels of profit. So we can eat food on our tables every day, but we can know that there are farmers out in the fields growing it for us. And that has to be good.